joins us now to tell us more about time and again good morning penny how are you good morning Deb. i'm fine thank you good thank you i mean when we were reviewing the year and previewing the year with mary corrigal a couple of weeks ago she was saying this is the one exhibition that you have to see this year what was the significance of the title time and again time and again is a way of talking about a retrospective then when you talk about going back in time um, you don't just see time unfolding and your work as an artist developing in a, in a logical way. You actually can see a pattern usually of going back and repeating similar things, but in fact it's never the same. So yeah. it's going back, it's marking time, it's saying this is, was a time then, this is a time now. There might be some things that are the same because I'm the same person making the work, <laughs> but it's actually also different. So it's to say that time is not really linear yeah. in an obvious way. What were the highlights of putting this exhibition together and how did you arrive at time again, time and again? Well, because my work sort of backtracks every now and then but is different every time, um, it was quite a challenge to think about how you actually present that mm -hmm. and how you do it in a way which still gives an opportunity to see the work in, its, in the time that it was made. Mm -hmm. um, but to be able to see its relevance, even in its form, how it was made, to, the, to now. So in fact it's quite interesting written literally putting this work up at the yeah. moment and seeing there was a painting I made in 1988 which is called Patience on a Monument yeah. and it's, it shows this wonderful black woman sitting on a monument or, or not on a monument as what they would imagine it to be but more on a, on a pile of of things that mm -hmm. looks like a monument and if you think of all the issues around the monuments I'm also at UCT so yeah. I'm very aware of what's going on yeah if you think of all the debates around what should be on the top of a plinth <laughs> there's, a, there's, there's some interesting things that are happening yeah. occurring again mm -hmm. time and again yeah you know? uh, and Witz Art Museum that space is just absolutely it's an artist's dream because it's so big yeah. why were, were they the best people to time and again to display and exhibit time and again well, it is big and gorgeous, but mm. you know, because I talked it for so many years mm. and because I know that collection, especially that the, the African art collection, and have actually used some of those objects and those artifacts in my work before, um, this is also significant in that way for me. Mm -hmm. You know, that, uh, for instance, for, for one set of, uh, of presentations or one of the vitrines, we actually went into the storeroom mm -hmm. uh, and found all the, all the beautiful African art sculptures that I had used before in an installation in 1995 and brought them out again. So there they sit again and they themselves are players in this new uh, exhibition. So the, while the Vitz space is fantastic, it's also the Vitz, the content of yeah. this collection, which is wonderful. And I believe it's also... Um Accompanied by a lecture. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, I'm going to give a lecture yeah. uh, and, and on Wednesday and I'm going to talk about something that you don't always see when you go to an exhibition. You don't always see how the works are made and the complexities, the ideas and things that go into the, the making. You usually just come into a museum or a gallery and see a thing on the wall and it still doesn't yeah. move, except the videos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and... Um, so I'm going to talk a lot about what goes into making my own work individually, but also what goes into making an exhibition. All right, Penny, thank you so much for talking thank to you. us. Penny Siope is talking to us about her exhibition, Time and Again, as well as her lecture at the Witz Art uh, Museum out in Bramfontein. Uh, let's say a very good morning.